morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Grumman Pilots YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we're looking at a four-place flap motor assembly. Now, in the flap motor, which is here, it's a 12 to 14 volt motor. It connects to a, a warm gear, and as you can see, if I spin the little gear down here, it turns to bigger gear, but when it's fixed, it will get longer or shorter, which will deploy or not deploy or, or, or pull back up your flaps. But the big thing I wanted to show here is how the motor is attached. Now, you have a bunch of, you've got on your worm gear, you've got your flap indicator adjuster. This is what drives a cable, which adjusts, you know, shows you on the console where your flaps are. That's that part. But the motor itself is held onto the assembly by this screw with a nut that goes on it, which I've taken off, and then one on the other side, which I will now remove. And this will allow the motor to come right out of the assembly. Now this side has a washer on it, the other side had an Adele clamp holding the cable in place, and then the motor just comes right off with the uh, worm gear drive all on it. So there is your flap motor. And that's the flap motor linkage. This is for the four place. The two place have a very similar system, but the parts look different. So we hope you found all this useful and informative. Oh, by the way, most of the problems with your flap motors being slow or not having a lot of power to move the flaps up and down, um, it's because the brushes up here in the top of the uh, motor are worn and they need to be replaced or cleaned. But that's just a little FYI, so we hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching, and have a good day flying your Grumman.